Hey everyone, Dan here from On One, back with another sneak peek of some cool stuff that we're working on. I've shown you a little bit about the Liquify tool, but what I couldn't show you at the time was how that it's re-editable. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of how you can re-edit your Liquify strokes. I'm gonna start off with a couple landscape photos in this video, and then I'll do a portrait or two in another video. The Liquify tool is here in Edit, right above the View tool. There are three different sub-tools. There's the Push tool. This allows you to push an area. Think of it like finger painting. Just put your finger down and smush the pixels the direction you want them to go. There's also a Bloat tool to make areas bigger and a Pinch tool to make things smaller. And for those, you can control the size and what we call the pressure. And the pressure, think of it like the amount, how much it's going to do the thing you're asking it to do. In this case, I am going to grab the push tool. And what I want to do is I want to take this rock outcropping over here, and I just want to scoot it into the photo a little bit more. I really want it to kind of line up more on one of those one third lines. And right now it's a little too far to the left. Now, in reality, if I could have walked a quarter of a mile to the left, I could have done that visually just by changing the perspective of the photo, but there's not always an outcropping or a place where you can shoot to change your composition. So this is a way you can do it after the fact. So. I've grabbed that push tool. I've got a big fat brush. Don't worry, you can change the brush size later. So I'm gonna start with a big one. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click right here on that rock outcropping and I'm just gonna move it over to the right a bit. There you go. You can see when I let go, I can see an outline of the stroke that I just created. Let me turn that on and off so you can see before and after. So there's before and after. See, I just nudged it over to the right just a little bit. Now, what's really cool is everything is re-editable. I can actually click on that stroke and look, I can actually move that stroke around from wherever I put it at. So I can adjust the position of the stroke. I can adjust the size of the stroke. After the fact, that's really the size has a lot to do with how much it's actually gonna move. And then I can also change the pressure, really how strong the adjustment was. If I go back to a pressure of zero, it's basically like completely undoing the stroke. So it lets me control just how strong it is right after the fact. I can dial in exactly what I'm wanting. And of course, if I don't like that stroke, I can easily delete it just by hitting the delete key. Let me show you how you can use this on another photo. All right, here we have kind of a basic surfing photo. Now, all of us want those crazy awesome surfing photos where they're going off a big wave, but in reality, most of us aren't crazy good surfers. We're not gonna get those kind of shots. So I'm gonna show you how we can take this shot and add a little bit more drama to it using Liquify. We're gonna use that same tool. I'm gonna to use the push tool. I'm gonna to make it bigger. And what I really wanna do is I wanna push him up higher and pull the waves on the left and the right down. So I'm just gonna grab a big fat brush. I'm gonna click right on him and I'm just gonna pull him up in the photo. So you can see how he's rising up. He's taking up a bigger portion of the top of the photo. It pulled the wave up and made it look like it was a bigger wave. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the sides. I'm just gonna pull down on the sides. There we go. Let's take a look at the before and after. So there's before and after. Now it looks like he's cresting a much bigger wave. It's a more dynamic photo. And like I showed you on the last one, those three different liquify strokes that I made are all re-editable. So I can grab the one on the left and I can click on it and I can move it around. So you see, I can adjust the position, the warp of that. I wanna bring it over and down a little bit so that the wave looks a little bit more realistic. And again, I can change the size with the size adjustment, and I can change the pressure or the amount, just like that. Same thing, I'm gonna grab that middle stroke and I could reduce the pressure to bring it back down to kind of unwind it a little bit. I'm gonna keep it at the top. I want it nice and high. As a matter of fact, let's pull them up even higher. I'll grab that left stroke and I can move it and tweak it and adjust it to be right where I want it to be, just like that. Let's look at that before and after again. So there's before. And there's after, adding a little drama with that completely re-editable liquify tool. Thanks for watching.